and I have been guilty of this in the past as well. We purchase products that appeal to our senses and you know businesses do a good amount of spend a good amount of money on doing research to find out exactly what does attract people to products. And a good portion of that has to do when they appeal to our senses such as touch, scent, and sight. But how often do we look at what the ingredients are doing for our bodies and the environment around us? Because we'd be really surprised to find out that a good majority of what is out there on the market is actually rather detrimental to not only ourselves, but the environment as well. Since the beauty industry is virtually self-regulated, I'm no longer leaving it up to them to make the decisions on what is good for me and my family. I want to be more pre proactive and inspire you guys to empower yourselves to take the initiative and create the demand for companies to start creating products with more mindfulness making products that have ingredients that are good for us and not longer and not detrimental to the planet so here's some products that I found that are doing just that all right so first up is body wash and you guys know that I do not like sodium lauryl sulfate. I made a video about this, links down below, uh, somewhere in the corner here. And that is something I try to stay away from, whether it's my body wash, facial cleanser, or shampoo. So yeah, guys, I don't, I don't like this one, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's super stripping of its natural oils in your skin and hair. It's gone. So since a good majority of us shop at Target, I know we do, I wanted to find something that is easily accessible for you guys. So I, I personally found this particular one, which is called Love, Beauty, and Planet. You'll see it for all here. And it is free of sulfate cleansers, parabens, dyes. And it's a recyclable bottle, which I appreciate. And this company is actually doing, it's a Unilever company, but this one in particular is doing a really good job as far as reducing carbon footprint. So I appreciate anything that is environmental friendly. This one is the, it's really hydrating. It's a Mur, Muru, Maru Butter and Rose. The fragrance of it is lovely. I love floral scents. And what I love the most about it, aside from all those other wonderful things, is that it is super, super hydrating. I step out the shower with this and I feel like I don't need to apply moisturizer, but I still do. So this is another one that I found that I believe you can get at Target and you could definitely get it at a health food store is Alba's Botanicals, the very emollient one. So this one is 32 fluid ounces. It has no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic fragrances. It's a vegetarian formula and no harsh sulfates. So I'm in. This one was really good because it's about the same price as the other one I just showed you, but you get a lot more fluid ounces. And Alba Botanicas has a lot of environmental initiatives along with social initi initiatives. I really do appreciate that, but the product in general, I appreciate it. It is very emollient. It's super hydrating. Another one that I feel like I don't even need a moisturizer, but yeah, we already said that one. <laughs> Try those out. Let me know what you think, guys. So that's what I found for body wash. There is a ton of other ones from other really awesome brands. These are just the ones that I was testing out and I really enjoyed and I have thus far, but in the future, I'm sure I'll show you guys some more. All right. 
So moving on, we're gonna go to body lotions. And I have two of them for you. And they are from the same company, I'm sorry, it's just that I fell in love with this company and a lot of the products that they uh, have, and that is Antelou Naturals. So this one is the Rose 100 Petal, what is it, 100 Roses Body Lotion. And I also got the um, Body Butter, and this one is Kukui Coco. It smells like vanilla and like a nutty scent and is a little bit richer while this one is a lighter, fast absorbing and smells like roses. It's, it's beautiful. Out of the two, this one's my favorite for its fast absorbing and super hydrating and I love it. Love it. This is kind of like a winter and then every other season, I guess you could say. And I like the fact that they have other scents, so if these two scents aren't, you're not a fan of these two scents, that's okay, they have other ones as well. And the really awesome thing about Antelou Naturals that I really, really appreciate, aside from the fact that they are ev environmentally conscious, they don't have any of the nasties in here, um, is the fact that their base is aloe vera. And I really, really love when products have aloe vera, especially when it's the first ingredient at the top of the list. I, to I totally appreciate that. The other thing that you'll find in here is the second one is what water, then sunflower seed oil, vegetable glycerin, um, and then a lot of the ingredients in here, you actually can read and know what they are. I appreciate that. I really, really love their skin products. They, may, I'm actually using some of their hair products right now, and I have used some of their skincare, but I wanna delve deeper into this line because I really do appreciate not only their philosophy, but the ingredients that they use. And the smell, oh my God, you guys, the smell. They, I love, here, I'll let you see, actually. It's like, it's, it's, it's this is the lotion one. The smell is so good. I feel like ever since I've been um, experimenting, ugh, I'm gonna get this all over my sweater. Ever since I've been experimenting with um, these products, the natural ones, I feel like I smell even better, if that's even a thing. I feel like my girlfriend's always talking about like, wow, you smell so good, and I'm not even wearing perfume because I stopped wearing perfume. And I'm just wearing my natural products, and they're so fragrant with natural fragrances. Speaking of which, Something to call out for this one in particular, I forgot to tell you, it does say there's a fragrance in there. And you guys know that I try not to get products that have fragrance. It is one of the last ones in, in the bottle, I believe. Oh no, actually it's in the middle of the bottle. So, and I don't know what that is. And you know that I prefer companies to at least disclose what is the fragrance if it's naturally derived or not or essential oils. And that one didn't. But I looked at it too late and I had it anyway. So I'm thinking about calling the company because I really, really love that whole body wash. And I really hope that it's not the nasties in there or at least no phthalates or something, you know? So yeah, love it. And really quickly, I do use body oil. So I just wanted to throw in here really quickly a body oil that I do use. And it is from Alba Botanicals. It's a pretty popular body oil. And this one's with Kukui Nut which smells really, really similar to my Antelou Naturals Kukui Nut, and sometimes I layer these two when I wanna be a little bit extra. Um, but like I mentioned before, Alba doesn't deal with any of those nasties in it, and I really like this oil. Try it. Okay, so deodorant. I've had a really big issue with deodorant because uh, if you guys saw my last few videos, I cannot stand having aluminum in my deodorant. And I am one of those people who have a rather strong scent. So finding a natural deodorant was really challenging. I had done a few of them that are popular even. And so I have settled into a brand that makes a deodorant that is aluminum free and free of all the nasties as well. And that is Schmitz. Okay, so I have this one. This is the Lavender and Sage, the original formula. This one, I like it. The OC has no aluminum, no propylene glycol, and no artificial fragrance. Thank you. I like this one. The only difference with this one is you have to apply it and leave it there a little bit so that it can warm up and then you can go ahead and use it. It's a, more of a solid formula and I found it to be a little bit, um, it's a little bit 
too firm for me. And so I was just like, oh, but it kept me smelling good ugh, the whole day. But they did have a sensitive, and so this one is Jasmine and Tea. Jasmine Tea from Schmitz. It's a sensitive formula. It's a little, so let me show you the tops. And I'm really sorry, guys, I use these, obviously. Uh, let me not show you the top. <laughs> hold on, guys, hold on, let me fix this. All right, so you'll see, uh, let me do it far away. You'll see, like, this one is a thicker, Formula, actually, let me see if I can actually do this. Here, let's see if we could do that. So that one's a little bit of a thicker uh, one, and then this one's the more sensitive formula, and it kind of goes like that. Both of them, I recommend that you rub them in, okay? But this, but see, once you rub it in, it's like, it's nothing, it's uh, transparent. The Jasmine Tea, guys, it smells so good. That literally, I think that that's what my girlfriend keeps smelling on me when she's like, oh my God, you smell so good. Aside from these wonderful lotions, you can actually smell my deodorant and it smells like so fragrant and beautiful. They also have fragrance free, so no scent if you prefer that. But these are really awesome. If you know other uh, deodorants, please, lotions, deodorants, just have at it. Just keep letting me know uh, what are some that you guys are using that you love. So I'd appreciate it kindly. Toothpaste. All right, so in the video in the clean cabinet challenge, you guys know what I don't like in toothpaste and all that other jazz. Don't give me fluoride, don't get any sodium lauryl sulfates, nothing. So I'll show you two of them. One of them does have sodium lauryl sulfate, but a good majority of toothpaste also have them. So I wanted to include it as an option for you guys. So the first one's Tom's. Um, they're another environmentally conscious brand as far as, as well as socially conscious. So I will include them and you can find them at Target and other uh, really popular stores like Walmart and stuff like that. So I did wanna include that here, you can go. And I also used a good majority before I found out they had sodium lauryl sulfate in it until I did the clean cabinet challenge. Um, but this one's actually really effective in whitening your teeth. But the one that I love that I'm using is from Jason. It's this one right here. And it doesn't have any fluoride. It says, let's see here, uh, no sodium lauryl sulfate, fluoride free, gluten free, and tartar control. And it's a peppermint um, paste. I appreciate that. Yeah, it says uh, no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, no propylene glycol. <laughs> the bottle's upside down. I like it, guys. Um, and it's just a safer alternative. Why would you want to be swallowing? You know when you're brushing your teeth, you're going to swallow some of that. Why would I want anything that has harsh chemicals in it? <laughs> no. Next one. All right, so I am gonna show you what I did exchange because in my last video, I did show you guys that I was using a shaving cream and I bought a different one because of that house we do want it. And this one is Kiss My Face. It is a shaving cream, I guess you can say. Yeah, it's like a, it comes off kind of like a, a moisturizer, but it uh, doesn't sink into the skin, it stays on, and it creates like a barrier for your shaving. It says that it is a four-in-one softened, moisturized, soothes, and it's made with botanicals. It's vegan and cruelty-free. In fact, guys, all of the products that I'm showing you are cruelty-free and give my seal of approval with the exception of the fragrant one. I don't know about that one. I gotta test that one out, but I just wanna show you guys. This one's a lavender and shea, and I really did like it. So I used it for my shave, and it was rather nice. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I have for you for now. Obviously, I'm gonna continue on my search for looking for more brands and products that are filled with wonderful ingredients that benefit us as, as well as being environmentally and socially conscious because that's important to me. Um, I hope it's important to you guys too. Let me know what you think about my journey as I transition to a cleaner, greener lifestyle. Let me know about your own journey or maybe some other products that can help me along as well as everyone else. And so yeah, I think that's it. Go ahead and comment, like, share the video, and subscribe as always. And until next time guys, I will see you later. Ciao. I got to love you night and day, if I may, may, may.